Well, hello, everybody. It's your boy, Avery. And welcome to a Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. And this is going to be a bit different from our normal content. We're not going to be really talking as much shit. This is going to be more like a podcast style type of thing. Um, you know, I, I want to do something a bit different. I wanted to, uh, you know... Just kind of see how this goes. Um, so be sure to like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, as we kind of just chill out, travel around New Vegas, and, uh, you know, see what's out there in the world for us in a uh, post-apocalyptic uh, Vladimir Putin decides to pull the nuclear trigger option. <laughs> that was uh, probably a bit too political. But... Uh, I'm probably not going to be super, super energetic in these type of videos because these are going to be more for like whenever I'm I'm just wanting to kind of chill out and uh, relax. Um, because I, I, I don't know. Oh, so this is where you get dug up. Okay. Um, I don't know what it is. There's New Vegas. Uh, I don't know what it is about today. Maybe just because I've been more busy lately. Um or maybe it's the Weller rig, uh, but I, I just feel really nauseous this evening. I really don't feel good, and um, I feel like that that may be just because of the fact that um, I recently started a new job. I decided to go back and work a job that uh, I had worked before I got my full-time position, and uh, that's glitching, and... I ended up going back into uh, the pharmaceutical industry, and uh, we're not going to be able to win this fight, and um, I, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I'm, I'm on medical leave for my full-time job, but because I'm on medical leave, I don't have my insurance anymore, and so because of that, um, you know, I, I got to make do with what I can. So, that requires me to um, go out and get another job and make some money. So, I don't know if I'm just stressed or if it's just my medication doing its thing. Um, but I just feel really nauseous this evening. I, <laughs> I kind of feel like shit in that regard. Oh, that, that didn't do shit. But, if you're looking for a game that is better than Master Duel, <laughs> this uh, this would definitely hit the nail on the head as a game that is better than Master Duel. Granted, it's old, but, I mean, I can't think of a game that could potentially be any better than this. Especially, like, if you want to chill out. Unless you're just getting Shreked on like I am. Oh my lord, that didn't even do anything. See, I, I decided to go for a melee build because my friend suggested it and said it'd be a good idea, and it's actually a horrible idea. You know, we're, we're, we're running back to town. Although maybe we can just go back on up the hill. It's funny because I said that I was going to be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! and things, and then we just run into a bunch of fucking rad scorpions and get our asshole pushed in. This is what it's like to play Flunder, by the way. Everybody in the room plays Branded, and they just are strictly better because of it. And you're over here playing Flunder and just not able to do anything about it. Okay. I think it's safe to say we can go back to town now. Um, oh, of course there's enemies nearby. But yeah, I, uh, people have been asking me what I think about the ban list. And quite honestly, I, I think it's a really good list. I don't like the fact that we still have the Brave Engine at full power. I don't like the fact that uh, a lot of things could have been changed for the better that just weren't. I, I really feel that Rite of Aramiser and uh, Water Enchantress could have gone to one. But they, they didn't do that. They left everything at three. And granted, I mean, I'm sure that they want to reprint the stuff and get more money, but I mean... I don't really know if that's something on their radar at this point, especially Change of Heart. I mean, the only way I see us getting a reprint of Change of Heart is to dump it into an OTS pack. Um, 
Because, I mean, right now, for Secret Rare Change of Heart out of the Legendary Collection Kaiba, it's like over $70. Metal Raiders Unlimited are like 60 bucks. First editions are like 150 I think. Which is to be expected for an old card, but I mean... The, even the cheapest copies, like when you go on TCG Player and you mark it from high to low, it is still... Oh my lord, really? Like, is there nowhere I can sleep? Um, there is no... There's no good price tag. I mean, the lowest that you're paying is like $10, which is still just insanity. Like, nobody wants to pay that for a one-of that you may not even play. I mean, even cross-outs have gone back up. Those are, like, close to 40s now, I think. And talents are, like, in the 25 to 30 range. So it's like you can't win either way. I could probably just haul ass to New Vegas, but I don't want to risk that. Uh, yeah, we'll do the knife. Yeah, we'll do that, because why not? Uh, we're not going to do that. We'll just go ahead and accept. Eh. There we go. I'm literally sitting in the dark, so I can't see anything. I'm going to need to sleep somewhere and heal beforehand. Uh... Actually, can't I? Is there anywhere I can go? Uh, let's go here to Novak. I think we can go there. I could be wrong. But the medication seems to be working well for uh, for me with my cancer and all that. It's it's really weird being a cancer patient, it's, um, it really makes you look at your life, and it, it, I mean, this is going to probably sound cliche, obviously, but I mean, it, it really does make you grateful, like, you, you would think, you know, people think, like, if they're not a smoker or anything, they're like, oh, you know, I'm never going to get hit with cancer, but then it hits you, and you're like, well, uh, nope, it's it's going to hit me. That's right, we can sleep in his room. Especially when, you know, you're in a position like mine where you're on medical leave from a job that you were full-time at. And now, because you're on medical leave and you don't know if you're going to get your job back or not because it's been bought out by another company, uh... You don't know, um, like, if they're even going to bring you back. You know, this new company could say, no, we're not going to bring you back. And it's really weird to f find out from many buyers what the cons were headed. Oh. D -d 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 intercept the great cons at Boulder City. Yeah, we're not doing that. Um, but, uh, anyway, as I was saying, it's, it's, it's weird to like look in the mirror and think I might die. Oh, he just doesn't say anything. Okay. So we're actually not going to go there and head off the great cons. Although it would be some easy XP. They're out there by Boulder city. Yeah, let's go there. Why not? I typically usually just go straight to New Vegas, but... Did I actually... Oh, am I over-encumbered? What? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm suddenly just... Well then, um, okay, that's strange. Oh, so that's how you auto walk. Ah, oh, 
So the caps lock apparently makes you walk. You learn something new every day about this game. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. It's weird being a cancer patient because, you know, waking up, waking up one day and looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking like, is, is this going to be the day that we kick the bucket? Like, is, it, is this our final Yu-Gi-Oh match, <laughs> for lack of a better term? Like, are, are we going to go to the Shadow Realm? Uh, but it makes you grateful. You know, uh, there's a reason why I bring up a lot of uh, my old memories with Yu-Gi-Oh, like uh, meeting Big Bruce 94 and his brother and having those be the first two friends that I made in my whole Yu-Gi-Oh career, having my two invites. Um, you know, I always hoped I would top and then I just never did top. And then I finally did and it was great and I was happy. <laughs> um Ooh. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Life has been very strange lately. The content creation is going okay. I was bleeding subscribers for a while. I uh, was at 729, and then I dropped down to 727, and now I'm back at 729. And um, I just posted that top five decks video. But in between going back to this job that I used to work at, and still being on medical leave for my main job, technically being hired there, but not, don't know what's going on. It's, um, it's a really weird conundrum. And it's, oh, and uh, I see that they want to make some friends. Hello, my friend. Uh, well, uh, I'm sorry that you play Mystic Mind, but uh, it's time for you to die. Jesus. Uh, Please die. Please die. Okay, and let's swap. Broad machete it is. We're a melee build after all. Yeah. I feel like I'm playing on hard mode right now, like, honestly. There we go. This broad machete is actually pretty good. <laughs> he just stood there. Uh, atomic cocktail. Yeah, we'll take that. Ah, uh, psycho. Yeah, that'll that'll be good. Uh, a hammer. Uh, let's see. Where's the other guy that we killed? A grenade rifle. Eh. Goggles helmet. Oh, we can sell that. But yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I really want to get to a thousand subs. I really want to, um, you know, get, get to that goal. And it's, it's always, it's always difficult too as a smaller channel to see your sub count drop like you're at 729, then you drop to 727, then you're back up to 729. Like it's, it's a bit of a wild ride, but um, you know, it uh, it's always nice to know when you're on the road of uh, getting getting to your goal, I think is the best way to put it. Like I said, I'm sorry if I sound exhausted. I'm just, I have been out and about all day, but I still wanted to make this video in case, uh, in case it ends up going up. You know better than me at this point if it ends up going up because people may end up voting and say, no, we don't want to uh, watch this. This is, this is bad content and you are bad. And you do not know what you are talking about, my friend. 
which is fine. I get that. I get that a lot, actually, <laughs> I feel. But to each their own. Everybody has their own way of doing things in life. I will be getting a case of uh, Tactical Masters as well, and Power of the Elements, because Splite's going to be Tier 0. I'm calling that now. Splite is going to be absolutely Tier 0. Um, some people think that it won't, like it'll just be a really high Tier 1, but I think with how it is in the OCG, having over 50% representation, oh yeah, it's it's going to be Tier 0. I feel like we're overdue for a Tier 0 format. Like It's been a few years. It's been since uh, Spiral. Back in, like, what, 2018, 2017? That we've had a tier 0 format? I think we're overdue for one. I feel that there's too many generically good cards in the format. I feel like that uh, sooner or later it's all going to come to a head and we're going to end up having a tier 0 format. There's somebody on the map. Oh, it's Brad Scorpions. That's That's adorable. Please die. Hello. Oh, they're attacking each other. Thank you. Ah. There we go. That only took a whole 10 seconds. <laughs> I thought I already discovered this city. Aren't we back in, uh... Aren't we back in Novak? Oh, no. This is Boulder City. Yeah, if I remember correctly, there's a kid here that steals supplies from you, and you can actually kill the kid, which is really comical. And then you can help out these soldiers on over here. You can try and talk them down, which you can't. Well, I can't because I don't have a high enough uh, charisma level. I put everything into melee. Oh, that's right. I forgot I can, forgot I can block. But on that note, you guys, I think that, uh, I think I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video.